In this video, we will explore the seven worst foods for hormonal weight gain, revealing how they can sabotage your metabolism in ways you wouldn't expect. We'll walk you through each one, explaining how they interfere with your body's natural hormonal rhythm and trigger weight gain. Plus, you'll discover how one food, often labeled a diet food, could be not only preventing you from losing excess pounds, but triggering you to eat even more. First of all, sugar-sweetened beverages, such as soda, are a major player in hormonal weight gain. When a person consumes these beverages, their body undergoes a spike in blood sugar levels. This prompts the pancreas to release insulin, a hormone that aids cells in absorbing glucose for energy or storage. The important thing to understand is that frequent surges of insulin can result in increased fat storage. Moreover, high sugar intake doesn't solely affect insulin. It also influences other hormones like leptin and ghrelin, which are responsible for regulating hunger and satiety. Unlike foods rich in protein or vegetables that induce feelings of fullness, sugary drinks fail to have the same effect on these hormones. Consequently, a person may still experience hunger after consuming them, leading to overeating. Next, another food that can not only lead to insulin surging, but has a special compound that attaches to opioid receptors in the brain, which can lead to food cravings. Surprisingly, this food is bread. Here's what you need to understand. Wheat bread contains gliden, an element of gluten. This cunning compound has the ability to stimulate one's appetite by attaching itself to opioid receptors in the brain. Typically, these receptors are associated with feelings of pleasure and reward, but when Glyden enters the picture, they begin to amplify your appetite and induce cravings. Upon consuming white bread, Glyden is decomposed into smaller proteins capable of crossing the blood-brain barrier and attaching themselves to these opioid receptors. This action sends a signal that triggers an increased desire for food consumption, which can lead to overeating and eventually weight gain. A further food that can disrupt hormones is French fries. This is largely attributed to their high fat content. Upon consumption, these fries can potentially trigger an escalation in levels of the hormone ghrelin within the body. Ghrelin being an appetite stimulating hormone means that an increase in its levels can lead to overeating and subsequent weight gain. However, the story doesn't end with ghrelin. French fries are specifically designed to be irresistibly tasty. Their crispy texture, salty taste and rich flavor are all elements that stimulate dopamine release in the brain. Dopamine is a neurotransmitter linked with feelings of pleasure and reward. Thus, consuming dopamine triggering foods like French fries leads to sensations of satisfaction and pleasure which can result in overeating. This cycle can even induce overeating behaviors akin to those observed in addiction patterns. A research study published in the American Journal of Clinical Nutrition revealed that meals leading to blood sugar spikes not only made participants feel hungrier later, but also activated brain areas related to cravings and rewards. This effect lingered even four hours post-meal. The influence of dopamine on overeating and weight gain is noteworthy as it establishes a reward loop within our brain. The more we consume such dopamine-releasing foods, the stronger our brain's cravings for them becomes, resulting in habitual overeating. It's also worth noting that certain individuals may be more susceptible to overeating because of dopamine owing to their genetic composition or environmental factors. For instance, Individuals with fewer dopamine receptors might require more stimulation, i.e. consuming more food, to experience the same levels of pleasure as others do. Another food that can elicit a dopamine response is candy bars, and particularly those containing high fructose corn syrup. This is because fructose differs from other sugars in its metabolism process. It is primarily metabolized in the liver through a process known as lipogenesis, where it is more likely to be transformed into fat, unlike other sugars. Additionally, fructose does not stimulate insulin secretion or boost leptin production, two crucial hormones for appetite regulation. Therefore, when consuming fructose-rich foods like candy bars, satiety isn't achieved as it would be with other foods. This lack of fullness can lead to overeating and subsequent weight gain. An intriguing point to note is a 2009 study discovered that healthy volunteers who consumed 25% of their daily calories as cool aid sweetened with fructose developed insulin resistance within just eight weeks. So what's the solution? Opt for whole foods containing natural sugars instead of processed snacks filled with high fructose corn syrup. 
Another hormone that can affect weight gain is estrogen. And this leads me to our next food product that sneaks its way into many food items from bread to crackers and sauces to frozen meals. This food is soy. It's important to note that soy is rich in phytoestrogens. These are plant-based compounds capable of attaching themselves to estrogen receptors within the human body. Depending on an individual's hormone balance, this could lead to either estrogenic or anti-estrogenic effects. In certain circumstances, this might cause an imbalance that triggers weight gain, particularly if it results in a state of estrogen dominance. Symptoms of estrogen dominance can include bloating, irregular menstrual cycles, fatigue, mood swings, and indeed weight gain. However, there's no need for alarm if these signs are observed. There are practical measures that can be taken. The first step is to reduce the intake of processed foods and opt for organic produce instead. This helps limit exposure to exenoestrogens, chemicals that mimic the function of estrogen in the body. Regular physical activity also plays an important role in hormone balance by decreasing stress levels and promoting detoxification. When considering diet changes, incorporating cruciferous vegetables such as broccoli and kale into meals is beneficial. They're high in a compound known as DIM, which aids in metabolizing estrogen. And for those who still desire soy, it's advisable to choose fermented soy products like tempeh and miso. Fermentation reduces the levels of phytoestrogens, making them a healthier choice. Shortly, we're going to discover the link between weight gain and sleep, and how one food could be disrupting the hormones for both these things. But first, a surprising food that could be triggering weight gain, diet sodas. The reason behind this is the artificial sweeteners used in these drinks. Here's the fascinating thing. Artificial sweeteners have the ability to trick your brain into believing it's consuming sugar. This deception initiates a dopamine response, which can intensify cravings for sweet foods. Additionally, these sweeteners can elevate ghrelin levels, causing an increase in food consumption. Interestingly, researchers at the University of Rio Grande do Sul looked at the effects of artificial sweeteners on adult Worcester rats. The rats were given yogurt sweetened with either saccharin, aspartamine, or regular sugar. Despite all rats consuming similar calorie amounts, those fed artificial sweeteners experienced greater weight gain. This implies that artificial sweeteners could contribute to weight gain by impairing our body's ability to accurately measure calorie intake. The negative effects don't end there. Additional research shows that diet sodas can negatively impact gut health and heighten the risk of type 2 diabetes. Some studies even propose that Diet Coke could be highly addictive because of its influence on dopamine response. So consider cutting these drinks from your diets as they could make all the difference to your weight loss. Finally, let's talk about a food that not only messes with your hunger hormones, but also disrupts your sleep. This double whammy can lead to hormonal imbalance and weight gain. The culprit, alcohol, especially beer. Alcohol can seriously upset the balance of two hormones, leptin and ghrelin. Leptin is like a traffic cop for your brain, signaling when you've had enough to eat. Ghrelin, on the other hand, is like an eager waiter, constantly stimulating your hunger. When you drink alcohol, it's like putting a muzzle on leptin's whistle and giving ghrelin a megaphone. Your brain doesn't get the message that you're full, leading to overeating while your feelings of hunger are amplified. In fact, in a study titled, Ghrelin Levels Are Increased in Alcoholism, researchers found that people with alcohol addiction have higher levels of ghrelin. But that's not all. Alcohol can also mess with insulin production and cortisol levels. Cortisol is a stress hormone that acts like a bad roommate. It loves to store fat around your belly area. And let's not forget about your sleep. Believe it or not, but drinking alcohol can wreak havoc on your REM sleep cycles, which are vital for physical and mental restoration. Poor sleep leads to increased levels of ghrelin and decreased leptin levels, making you hungrier and potentially leading to weight gain. So what can you do? Consider cutting back on alcohol or choosing lower calorie options when you do drink. Regular exercise and a balanced diet can also help keep your hormones in check and manage weight effectively. That about wraps it up. If you're struggling to reach your ideal body weight, it might be your hormones. So make sure you click the link below this video to take our hormonal balance quiz and get a personalized hormonal report tailored to your hormone type. Also, if you found this video helpful, please subscribe and leave a comment below.